okay, we need to find two numbers based on the operation. So that basically means we're going to be given clues and we have to figure out what numbers fit the clues. Okay, so our first question says the difference of the numbers is 11. Their sum is 17. What are the two numbers? So we need to find two numbers that when you subtract them, they equal 11, but when you add them, they equal 17. So a guess and check strategy would work well for this. Okay, so there's more than one right way to tackle this problem. All right, so I'm going to start off with addition. I like adding the numbers first. Okay, so for example, if I added 10 plus 7, that equals 17. However, if I subtract them, I would get 3. So it doesn't fit with that. Okay? So we have to get this subtraction problem up higher. It has to equal 11. So what if I try 12? What if I try 12 plus 5? 12 plus 5 equals 17. What is 12 minus 5? That's 7. So we're getting closer, but we're not quite there. Okay? So. We have to go higher than 12. Let's try 14. 14 plus 3 equals 17. And 14 minus 3 equals 11. So there we have it. Our numbers are 14 and 3. All right, let's do another one. The sum of two numbers is 7, and their difference is 1. Okay. Well, let me think of it this way. If I have two numbers that add to seven, let me try three and four. Three and four equals seven, so it fits the sum rule. Now I need to subtract them. I'm gonna do four minus three because you always have to have the greater number first. Four minus three equals one. Do I have my match? Do I follow my rule? Yes, so it's three and four. All right, next one. The product of two numbers is 40, and their sum is 18. I'm sorry, their sum is 14. What are the two numbers? Okay, so again, we have the product of two numbers is 40, and then when you add them, it equals 14. All right, so I know, for example, an easy one, because it ends with a zero, so that means 10 works with it. So if I do 10, times 4, that equals 40. So it works out with multiplication. Now let's add them. 10 plus 4. What is 10 plus 4? 14. I have my numbers. And I just picked 10 because I know that 10 goes well with 0 is a good easy number to start with. And if that didn't work, then I'd have a, a starting point to try another number, so 10 and four. All right, next one. The product of two numbers is 18 and their sum is nine. All right, so we have to multiply two numbers to get 18, but also when we add them, they equal nine. All right, so let's think of numbers that when I multiply, they equal 18. I have one times 18, I have two times nine. Hmm, did I just say one? times 18, that equals 18. What happens when I add one plus 18? It works for multiplication, but not division. That, is, that equals 19, okay, so that doesn't work. So what about two times nine? 2 times 9 is 18, so it works out. 
But what is 2 plus 9? That's 11, so it doesn't fit that. But we're getting closer. Hmm, what about 3 times 6? 3 times 6 equals 18. And what is 3 plus 6? That also equals 18. So my numbers are 3 and 6. You can see how guess and check works there. Okay, the difference of two numbers is 6. But when you divide them, the quotient is 3. Interesting. Okay. What if I do 9 minus 3? What's 9 minus 3? That's 6, so that checks out for my first one. Then I do 9 divided by 3. What's 9 divided by 3? 3. So 9 and 3 are my numbers. Next one, the sum of two numbers is 35, and their difference is 3. What are the two numbers? Now, I like this one because it's multiple choice, so they're giving you some suggestions, okay? So, for example, let's just start right off the bat. I know that if I add 25 and 13, that's not going to get me to a number... A sum that has a 5 in the 1's place, so it can't be that. And it also can't be 24 and 14, because the 4's, when I add them together, give me an 8 in the 1's place, and we need a 5. So that means it's either 17 and 18 or 19 and 16. Okay, so we know they both equal 35. So let me try 19 minus 16. Does that give me a difference of 3? It does, so that means 19 and 16 are the numbers we need. Next one, the product of two numbers is 30, and their sum is 13. All right, so when we multiply, it's 30, and when we add, the numbers are 13. Okay, so looking at the bottom, I'm going to eliminate some choices. I know that 2 times 12 does not equal 30, so I'm crossing that out. I also know that 1 times 11 does not equal 30. That equals 11, so it can't be that. So that means it's either 3 and 10 or 5 and 13. So if I do 3 plus 10, what do I get? I get 13. Jeans, 3 and 10 is my answer. The product of two numbers is 72. Their sum is 17. What are the two numbers? Again, we've got our multiple choice, which is awesome because we can eliminate choices. Okay, so I can get rid of which ones? I can get rid of 10 and 9 because 10 and 9 multiplied equals 90. I want it to be 72. The next one I can get rid of is 6 and 6 because 6 times 6 equals 36. So that means it's either 7 and 5 or 9 and 18. Well, 7 plus 5 equals 12, so it can't be that. And 9 plus 8 equals 17, so that means 9 and 8 is my answer. Next one, the product of two numbers is 14. Their sum is 9. What are the two numbers? Okay, so if I'm multiplying two numbers and they equal 14, but I add them up, and they equal 9. Let's eliminate down below. I can get rid of 5 and 1, because when I multiply them, I get 5. I can also get rid of 10 and 3, because when I multiply them, that's 30. So it's either 9 and 5, or 7 and 2. Well, if I add 9 plus 5, I get 14. So it can't be that. But if I do 7 plus 2, oops, if I do 7 plus 2, I get 9. So that means 7 and 2 is my answer. Let's do one more. The product of two numbers is 12. Their quotient is 3, so quotient or dividing. 
Okay, so let's look and eliminate down below. Which numbers can I get rid of? I can get rid of 7 and 3 because when I multiply them, that equals 21. I can keep 6 and 2 because 6 times 2 is 12. I can also get rid of 5 and 1 because 5 times 1 is 5. So let's see. And 4 times 4 equals 16, which means my answer has to be 6 and 2. And watch, 6 divided by 2 does equal 3. So 6 and 2 is my answer. Excellent job on these problems.